Hello guys, Steven here. Uh, so today I'm going to react the top students that verified on Kinfo. I'm going to look through their trades and to see what they did wrong, what they, what they did right. Other than that, let's dive into it for the students that made over six figure or seven figures. And let's look at through their trades and to see if they're disciplined and they're practicing uh, good habits. So let's get into it. This student wants me to review his trades. So I might as well just do it on the YouTube. So let's see, uh, he made CYTO, lost 4K on this one. So he shorted it up there and bought it and within the same candle. So that's a scalp right there. This is another short, lost 26,000. Let's see what he do. So and it was the same type of sell, 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 buy. So that was a small loss on um, the candle that keeps going up so that was he says in pretty heavy now candle uh first of all you shouldn't even be trading CYTO because you want to avoid um stocks that's over well, that's under five dollars so all those trades are not necessary 4k 4k that's 8k 26 52 57. so those 57 thousand dollars are not worth it and you can see it, your name is Sexy Short Seller. You made 62K, 64K on CYTO by shorting at the top, cover and the bottom, right? So this is what I'm talking about. That I, as you are my students and you're in the program and you're supposed to know that you shouldn't trade stock that's under $5, right? And just look at your profit and the losses. This 164K pretty much equals all your losses combined together. So by the end of the day, you spend that much time trading CYTO, you end up with pretty much nothing, net zero. So that tells you it's not worth it. So next time, don't trade stocks that's under $5. All right, let's look at other trades. Traded RIVN. This is a $100 stock. Uh, it was a short position, shorted at 118, covered at 119. This is not necessary too. So this one, that's 6.5K should be, you know, you shouldn't be even trading that. So that's prevent, that's avoidable. AFRM, this is another $100 stock. So you're making money, um, expensive stock also losing at the same time. So. I want to give you uh, one suggestion. Track all your stocks that's <laughs> under $5 and also $100 stocks. Track all your losses and wins to see do you actually come ahead or no. If it's you don't come ahead, don't trade those stocks. It's not really worth it. All right, let's look at all the stocks that's where he uh, that's actually tradable. So 51k um RNXT short. Look at this one. This one is within a profitable range. You made a lot of trade on this one. Well, first of all, you, sh you are so carving and adding in the same type, same range. That's not. Don't 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 do that. If you want to short, you want to uh, uh, covering weaknesses and and so into strength. So you want to add in the ten ish right here. So this one fits the price range that you're supposed to trade and look at you, you made 51,000. All the losses that you took previously are just very, very um, uh, expensive stock or very cheap stocks. All right, PPSI. This one you lost 59,000, you made 68,000. You took a lot of losses on PPSI. All right, were you trying to go long? All right, see, look at this. This is just over trading. Look, uh, let me see your first trade. So first trade, you made money. Second trade, made money, long, 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 long. Then you just got over on your head, I guess. You are trying to short in the afternoon. Took a huge loss right here, shorting in the morning. So when PPSI, it was a six, you shorted it. Went up in the afternoon. You sized in way too much. 12% for 59,000 loss. So you sized in about, whoa, you sized in 500,000 on this one short. 
It has been way too much. Last 12%. Yeah. So you had 100,000 shares shorting that six for a stock that's about up about 100%. Not worth it. Not worth it for your account size. Just by looking at your losses and wins, your account size is roughly around two, three hundred thousand. So, so you're actually using leverage on this one. Don't do leverage. They made sixty-eight thousand by going short, covering here. All right, this one, this one looks. Your trades on PPSI is not clean at all. You're trying to catch every single action. It's not worth it. Now, first of all. Uh, making a trade on this one is fine. It, this is a classic gap up short. You can short into the push and cover in, uh, when, when it's pulling back. And as soon as the stock breaks the morning high, which is right here, 7 something, 720, that's where you should stop trading. You, you keep trading on after that breakout. After that, stock doesn't meet no patterns at all. And look at, you make, took almost 100,000 loss after that. Not worth it. All right, let's uh, look at other people's trading. So I look at, this is one of the students that uh, from um, the challenge. This is an, there's another. So Grutani is here, sexy short sellers here. Um, still one year. Let's look at J35. This is our student that made 300,000. You know, let's see. I was looking at it this morning, didn't took a deep dive on it. So PPSI short, he made money on that. It's not bad. Let me see what, what did he short with. He shorted on a breakdown. Oh, that's been, so he shorted on the bounce short. Okay, it's not that bad. Um, so in short, he took a loss on PPSI, shorting at the top. That's the first green day right there. He stopped trading after that, and that's good. This is a very good discipline. So this loss, it's necessary, and it's also, you can, it, this is unavoidable losses, but you can uh, reduce the loss right here for PPSI. PPSI made DWC 62,000, DWC short 6.4K. So this is where I live traded on DWC. So you made a bank on that one. We also hemmed on CEI short. So you made a huge bank on CEI as well. So those two gains are almost worth 70K plus 60K, 130K. Another CEI short, 150K. So you made 140, 150K on CEI and uh, DWC alone. All the trades you made after, pretty small. Oh, it'll be long. This is not bad. Long in the candle. Uh, lower floats. This long is not bad. Yeah, you don't. Open, you cut your losses pretty quick. Uh, very good habits. Much better than the last one. But before that, you took a lot of losses on MC, MRIN. Uh, oh yeah, this one was a difficult one. So this is avoidable. It only lost 800 on that one. I don't see giant losses like the last one. So in terms of discipline, you are doing much better. Uh, in terms of over trading, you are still doing much better than the last one. Losses are still manageable though. Uh, so in terms of habits, uh, in terms of profit and gain percentages, uh, J35 is doing much better. Uh, losses are pretty relatively small compared to the wins. So this is on its way to be a very profitable trader. So very good discipline. Um, and uh, only thing you can work on is your losses. And this one got out of control a little bit. So size thing a little bit too big, but uh, other than that, you didn't really make money on PPSI. Yeah, PPSI was a weird one. That'll be the two v reviews for the students. Um, that's on top of the leaderboard in terms of their trading habits. And always look at your trades to see what is necessary, what is not. And in terms of a last one, that's name is Sexy Short Setters. He does a lot of over trading and he um, doesn't manage his risk very well and he's sizing way too big. Now, J35 has a very solid 
uh, risk control and he know when to set in big, when to set in small. In terms of habits, uh, J35 wins. But in terms of profits, uh, J35, if, if, the, if both of them keep the same habits and their same um, trading habits, J35 will eventually come on top. So that'll be it for this video. Have any questions, leave a comment below. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.